What's up everyone? Welcome back to EWC. What we have before me today is the end game of the 5711s. I promised you guys we're going to be back bigger and better than ever and here it is. It does not get any better than this. I mean, this is crazy. Now, these are the bad boys that I've been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time. As all of you know, the 5711 is going to be discontinued by the end of the year. And earlier in 2021, Paddock came out with the Sunburst Olive Green Stainless Steel 5711, as well as one super special edition, which was the one that has 32 baguettes around the bezel. And this is what I have right in front of me. This one is the 5711-1300A, as well as a 5711-111P in full platinum, gray dial, and 32 blue sapphire baguettes, as well as 12 sapphire baguettes in the markers. I'm going to be showing you guys the olive green first because this is super, super hyped up. This is not just iconic, but it is the last of its kind. And because of it's the last of its kind, I think that this price will go to the moon until this market cools off. But just uh, my initial thoughts of this, this is full stainless. I never thought that Paddock would put baguette diamonds on the bezel for a full stainless steel watch. It's actually very special, and I think that's why the prices of these things are ridiculous right now. It's a little bit too crazy. This watch is no different than any other 5711 in its dimensions. It is 40 millimeters, 8.3 millimeters thick. Uh, it has a pull clasp, which is a little bit difficult on the stainless ones, and I am afraid to make any scratches on this. Uh, forgive me, I am not wearing gloves, although I should be, but this is a friend's watch, and he's kind enough, and I'm lucky enough to be able to review something like this, so thank you, you know who you are, I'm not gonna name names. There's one thing that I have to say, this olive green dial is actually a lot nicer than I thought. Um, it does change color. Under the sunlight or under professional lighting right now, it goes from dark green to this forest green and then some parts of it is light green. Uh, it's a little bit more matte. There's some vintage vibes to this and I think that's what draws my attention. And because it's kind of flat and matte in the center of the dial, with the bling around it, it pops and it works. Somehow, this really, really works for me. Before, I was not really into diamond watches or watches with a lot of bling on it, but I don't know if it's my age or hip hop influence. I love it. This is gorgeous. This is sexy. This is unobtainable. That's why I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my wrist right now just to get a feel for it. Uh, I got to do it. So let me just tell you guys the price while I'm putting this on. Yesterday I went on Chrono24 and I saw that there's one dealer asking for $890,000. $890,000 for this. I mean, tell me, do you guys think this is worth $890,000? Even if that's the asking price and the landing price would be somewhere around 700K or 750K. You're telling me that this is about seven to nine times the MSRP? I mean, yeah, for the last of its kind, I do think that this will be a super collector piece. This is going to be, you know, in the history books for sure. Yeah, this is 120 meter water resistant. I don't know why anyone would bring this underwater, but uh, please don't. If you guys are watching and if you have this, don't ever do that. Just keep it in the safe or something. Now I'm going to compare this with the Sapphire because this is what I think is a little bit cooler. Um, I personally like this more because it's a little bit more different. And I think it's more rare. The difference between these two is that one is in full platinum and the other is in full stainless. This one has 32 blue sapphire baguettes and 12 baguettes on the dial, on the markers. And the dial is a dark gray. I actually like this dark gray matched with the blue. There's eight variations for the platinum. Four gray dials in ruby, emerald, blue sapphire, as well as diamond. There's this white dial with ruby, emerald, blue sapphire, and diamond. And then there's other versions in the rose gold. Each variation that I just mentioned, there are only five to 20 
ever produced and they stopped producing them. My personal opinion, something that is precious metal as well as a limited production run, the value of this watch should be higher than the value of this one, but right now it's not. This one is probably 200 to $250,000 more than this watch. They're already both astronomical and both ridiculous. So when comparing the two, the Platinum is a lot heavier. I'm gonna put the Platinum on my wrist and just to feel what it's like. Wow, you can feel the heft. You can feel like it's, a, it's like a Platinum brick on your wrist. I am more of a precious metal kind of guy. I'm a little bit, you know, gravitated towards this one more. I think the blue sapphire is very bling, it's very in your face, but it's still subtle. If it was a white dial, it would scream a lot louder. I am coming around to the idea of these diamond watches and I love the square cut baguettes. There's one special thing on this watch that I see that it does not have on the stainless, which is something that Patek does on all of their platinum watches. Below the six o'clock, on the bottom of the bezel, there's a small diamond right there. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. That is what makes Patek special, and they're good at doing the little details. So when you put on a platinum watch of theirs, you know it's special, and only you, as the owner, will know. Well, obviously now all of you guys know that this is different than all the other watches. So now I'm just gonna give you guys my final thoughts on these two super grail watches. It is only going to get more expensive. Paddock is lowering their production. There's gonna be no more 5711s. People with a lot of money, they want to park their money somewhere. Whether it's money laundering, whether it's an investment, whether it's a collection. I think that watches are great investments. In the case of these two, these are real investments. Let me know what you guys think about these super grail watches and what's gonna happen in the near future. Because for me, I think that it's only going to keep going up because these watches are investment watches. They are not daily watches, okay? Don't get me wrong here. Uh, if I owned these, I would not be wearing these on a daily basis. On a special occasion, I'd bust it out and show off. But I would be careful because these watches are highly sought after. And you know, I've heard a lot of people getting robbed lately. So all you collectors out there, be careful. And my final pick, I guess, what everyone wants to know, right? Well, to be honest, I am gonna go with the Platinum and Blue Sapphire with Grey Dial because I like this combination. I think it's different. Um, I know a lot of people like the Ruby Reds and a lot of people probably prefer the Emerald Green. For me, the Blue, Grey, and Platinum combination, mwah, I love it. This is definitely my pick, but I love this too, okay? I love this. Um, I think the price scares me a little bit. That's the only concern I have with this. They're out of this realm already. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that we have two super, super grails right here. Hit that like button, subscribe, share with all your friends. I'm off. I'll never see you guys again. Bye-bye, I'm taking this away.